Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from mindfulmarketplace.com. I'm gonna talk a little bit low because I'm in a public place uh, right now, but I'm actually gonna show you as promised how to launch a brand new uh, marketplace style site using WordPress, using really uh, cool, creative, but most important, easy to, uh, to try and apply software and extensions that really simplify this process in a way that I think is uh, quite exciting relative to other analogs and alternatives available right now. So the theme that we're gonna be uh, using in addition to the extensions and framework that are built into this is called Task Press, Task Hive, excuse me. And the, um, the framework is called Hive Press. So I did a short video I don't know, maybe two weeks ago, I'm recording this on the 5th of August. And this theme and its extensions were just released a couple days ago, I think on the 3rd of August. So actually, let me, in, 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 in the service of complete transparency, the extensions have been around for a while. The Marketplace uh, extension, which is a premium uh, plugin, let's call it, that, that extends the HivePress directory platform, which is free. The marketplace plugin, again, is a premium, a fee-based uh, extension for this free framework. And the theme uh, has just been released over a couple, uh, you know, over the last, let's say, 72 hours or so. This is this brand new theme, which styles and gives you this really robust kind of a service or digital download oriented marketplace style setup that is really quite um you know quite exciting at least to me so let's upload the theme you're going to get a chance to see just how much of a shitstorm my desktop is which is always embarrassing but unfortunately i just don't have the time to clean it up today and it is where is it where is it where is it this is terrible boom there it is All right, so we're just going to install the theme again. It's called Task Hive. Um, it's a fee-based theme, right? So this is not free, but this is essentially what you get when you install the theme. Now I'm doing all of this because I know some folks. Um, you know, I'm going through the very, very most rudimentary steps here because I know some people constantly ask me questions about things that I skip that I assume are kind of understood that may not be understood. So that is the process of installing a theme like this on WordPress um, or within your WordPress administration. And the next thing that you need to do, as I mentioned before, you need to install the underlying framework, which is bundled into these, into HivePress. And then here are the additional um, plugin, you know, it, these are all free with the extent with the ex exception excuse me of this one and this one so all of these high press reviews woocommerce obviously is, is free high press favorites all of these are associated with this underlying framework which is a brand new framework when i say brand new in the last let's say six months or so i guess for running these sorts of sites for free without you know, having to buy one of these kind of convoluted clusterfuck theme forest themes. All right, so let us um, install these plugins. All right, let's go back and activate them. Now we're gonna add, oh, don't do that, you dum dum. All right, let's, we wanna do, so now you can see all these extra Options are available in our administration. We have WooCommerce, obviously, but 
more salient for our purposes. We have this high press uh, tab, listings tab, vendors tab, payouts tab, and all that good stuff. So the next thing I'm going to do is, because I know this is important for this particular theme, is I'm going to install uh, the uh, the importer that they recommend uh, for importing the demo data, and I think it's called One Click Importer. I believe that's true. It's this one here. We're going to install that. We're going to activate that. And then we want to import the demo data, although I may have to actually put my, um, I think I may have to add my license key to do that. I forget. It's here. And I don't, so that's good news. So now we're going to import, import the demo data. And when this is done, we are going to have this really nice looking, um, you know, sort of example marketplace setup that in the next series of videos, I'm going to customize, and optimize and do some cool and creative things that will show you how you can actually monetize one of these sorts of sites in, I think, some, you know, some unique and, uh, you know, out of the box, no pun intended, uh, style strategies all right so let's go and take a look at this and see how it looks and boom we now have a complete marketplace style setup with categories featured services reviews freelancers listing pages let's look you can view the services here Oh, actually, that's redirecting me. It doesn't matter, but that's actually sending me to the official demo rather than my demo. So let's not do that for the time being. All right, let's look at this. You know, uh, actually, I think what I need to do, actually, what I know I need to do is I need to set up the, you know, the appropriate pages. Uh, so all this resolves to the right URLs. But let's see if we can look at something like this without doing that. I think we can. And we can, right? So you can see here's an example of a service, right? It's just an example dummy piece of content, obviously. But let's look at this. Right. So here you can send a message to the seller. You can buy it now. This probably will require WooCommerce to be configured properly, which it's not yet. I just have to set it up. Can add this to favorites. Can read the reviews. Can send a message. And the listing agent, in this case, would be getting that message. Right. So this is how you are public community would interact with your peers, your professional peers or your members. All right, let's look at this. All, right, now all this is really done exceptionally well. The guy who developed this theme, his name is Ihor. He's also behind some of the most popular theme forest uh, app style themes. Uh, for an example, Makery is a marketplace theme that you can see on ThemeForest. I bought that years ago, um, and it's just a wonderful theme for a marketplace-style setup. It just does it so beautifully. Um, you know, it, it, I don't love the styling, as I've pointed out uh, in some other videos on this. You know, in 2020, I think it looked great in 2016. So there's a little bit of, of obsolescence there in terms of the aesthetics. Um, but, you know, I this is going to be really easy to customize. You can change the colors, the fonts. We're going to do all that in some of the other videos. If you're interested in watching them, uh, I would encourage you to join our community at the link below. I probably won't post this whole series on Facebook, uh, excuse me, on YouTube. Uh, but instead, I'm going to share this just with our 
uh, private, uh, you know, course community for those of you building these uh, sites. Okay, doke. So the next video, we're going to do some customization, and I'm going to set up the back end of this site uh, so you can see some of the cool and creative ways that you can modify this to your needs. All right. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.